What's up, everybody? Yo, what up, what up? Ozzy from All In Tanks, along with my man. Rob93 in the house. How you feeling today, Rob? Dude, I'm ecstatic. Yeah, me too. I don't know how to spell that, but I am. (laughs) I think it's just E-S-T. E and static. Ooh. <laughs> like Fosachi. Miss Lori, you are always first. Thank you yes, so much. I appreciate that. Joe Munoz with the Rob 39. That is, that is, that's pretty good. That's funny. Me out aquatics. Let's do this. All right. I appreciate those party people that are here. For those who are watching this replay, you're in for a treat because we do have a special guest. And for those who are here, I don't know what the number is right now. It's zero over here. So I don't care for the number of whoever is here. But those who are watching this replay, make sure you stay tuned because we have a great one. We've already we've already ha- I had to stop them because we were hitting fire before all of this. We were, it was it was just too much. It was just too much content going on. All right. <laughs> it was just too much. I. Word. Yeah, thanks everybody for tuning in. We definitely really appreciate it. Uh, hashtag empty tubs. Sorry I wasn't able to make it there, Bob. I had to go pick up my car from the shop. I got it fixed. Ugh, another bill. But, Anthony, what's up? We do have a special guest. We do have some uh, great, amazing people in here. I'm not going to hold y'all too much. What's up, Renzo? We got Color for Guppies up in here. Color, Color Guppies, sorry. Color for Guppies. What is that? Wow. Zen Ginger. Oh, we got Pam in the house, Joe in the house. We got Bob in the house, Big Renzo. Hey, Mr. Fish, sir. What up? We appreciate you as well. We got 18 watching, 17 likes. So all right, all right. Those who are brand new, I appreciate you as always. Welcome the new people here at Rap93. As always, we are nice. All right, so we are going to go ahead and introduce our special guest, because we do have a wonderful guest. He, my friend right here, said, bro, we got to get this person on there. You have not had this person on. Definitely. People love this person. They truly adore this person. I said, you're right. I just met this person, and I think I love this person. You're right. The channel's amazing. Have amazing content. Definitely. Agreed. So, without further ado... Ladies and gentlemen, boys and gals, this because this is not for kids, but boys and gals, if you are here, drum roll, please. Science Girl Carrie from Science Girl Aquatics. That was quite the intro. Thank you. That was really All right. Sweet. Yeah. We try to get you hyped up. I don't know. I don't know right, if you, yeah. you want to run through a wall or anything, but hey. I was excited. I'm like, who is this person? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, my, my son's in the live stream, too. I want to say hi to my son, Kiko. Hi, Kiko. What up, man? <laughs> all right. Peplin's in the building. Royal Fish Aquatics is in the building. So, all right, everyone. We're going to go ahead and get on with these little live stream because we do have some questions. Ozzy has some, I have some, and I know you all have some. So go ahead. Definitely. And look down in the chat. Definitely. Thank you. Well, for, well, first and foremost, I just want to say thank you for being on our channel. Definitely greatly appreciated. Um, well, I know you have a son, correct? Because when I watch your videos, uh, is, is that your son? Yes, I have my eight-year-old he just turned eight and then my better half has a soon-to-be nine-year-old and a 16-year-old that you know really here all the time so Yo, that's, I that's have amazing. One, but together we have three. <laughs> oh, that's amazing i have three kids too my oldest is 19 <laughs> and my son oscar he's uh nine and my daughter's eight uh-huh yes yeah, it's it's, it's something <laughs> it's Definitely. always a new day <laughs> oh yeah so it's, it's very very oh man having kids is, is uh-huh. created for the world but it is a lot yeah we're kind of nervous about the 16 he just got his driver's license and he did really Ooh. well Ooh. and he, he's drove the farm truck here and there in the past but it's still a little <laughs> a little oh, nerve-wracking so oh wow that's how that's how we work too right 
<laughs> What's that, Rob? When you when I can trust you to clean my fish tank, you can drive. Yeah. Oh yeah, there you go. There you go. And I trust you a lot more with my life. Okay. Uh huh. He he's helped <laughs> me in the past, and he's done a good job. He just tries to fill it up too quickly. The water flows like way too fast. I'm like, no, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> but other than that, Poor he's done pretty good. Oh, that's awesome. Um, I do, I do have a, a couple questions here to ask you. Um, because my wife has been a, a supporter of yours. Um, she's been following you for a while, and um, I was asking her actually um, some stuff. And um, one of the questions I got that you're all about libraries, right? You love Pretty libraries. Much. <laughs> Pretty and, much. And, and so, what's your favorite library of all? Like, from uh, all I think I will always, always pick the guppy over it everything because it's been something that i've kept since i was a child and you oh, never wow. know what you're gonna get every time you get a new batch of fry and they grow up you never know what you're gonna get and they're always so pretty absolutely I, I agree i'm really enjoying those pike live bears that i got not too long ago just yes. by getting to know them and watching them all the time <laughs> i'm really <laughs> liking them Oh, but that's they're awesome. Super, they're super new, but I think I will always just pick the fancy guppy no matter what because they're just, they're always so pretty. <laughs> yeah, they are. They're really, really nice. Right now, I have uh, Green America Deltas, Green, uh -huh. Green American Deltas. They're really, really nice. But you know what's weird is that I think that our, our first brood was all females. Have you ever encountered something like that? Yeah, here and there, I'll get a batch that's a little bit more female dominant, and then I'll get a batch that might have a few more males. It just kind of depends on the water temperature, but you, I can't I really remember. Do you really truly believe that? Yeah, I cannot remember exactly if it's warmer, you get more females. Don't quote okay. me on it. I don't remember the, the vice versa. Right. Because at this point, I just let them go, and whatever I get, I get. And I seem to have a pretty good mix in the end of both. But mm -hmm. I do always feel like I have just a few more females than males, but it's always a pretty good ratio. If oh, that's sweet. That's <laughs> awesome. But it seems like I've always, in the past, I always had my heater, and I just let it go. But since I've moved the fish room in the basement, I've been slowly taking out all of the heaters, and just let oh, yeah. them be at room temperature because down here in the basement, it just holds heat better. So, oh, okay. Is your basement kind of like, like if it's hot outside, it'll hold the heat, but if it's cold outside, it stays cold? Yeah, it's, pr I would say normally it's probably always in like the lower 70s, but if it's abnormally hot outside or abnormally cold, there's a slight difference. But for the most part, I think it stays pretty much lower 70s oh that's pretty sweet that's nice but before the next question i'm sorry uh miss no, you so much for dropping the link for any of those uh mods that are dropping links and i don't see them thank you so much for my mods that are here thank you so nice much. nice um also um you have an arowana too right <laughs> i do yeah. Sorry about that like yeah. did you did the you filter? name it I I wanted to name it Arrow, but no Perfect. one in my family agreed. So they just call it. I think just I would have I would have called it Arrow. You're right. Monster fish, but downstairs <laughs> in the fish room, it's pretty much all the little guys, and then upstairs is the bigger monster fish area in our dining room that we have the silver arowana, the fresh uh, the freshwater lionfish, and then oh, a wow. bunch of goldfish at the moment. And then oh, there's nice. a iridescent shark upstairs too. Yeah, and what um what's the size uh tank you have your one in? Just one. It's 180 gallons, but it's already oh, wow. small. It's oh, already wow. too small. So I'm already like kind of getting that urge where I, I probably should like make plans to donate it to an aquarium. Mm -hmm. Cause I just don't it's really difficult to find large aquariums here where yeah. I live. And the only reason why I got this one is because the nursing home was upgrading and somehow knew my number. <laughs> I'm assuming through the fish store, but they contacted me right. to buy it. And that's the only reason why I found that one. Wow. It's already getting to the point where it can turn 
still pretty easily, but it's definitely getting to the point where it's like, well. <laughs> yeah, they grow so fast. Those things grow really quick. And I've had him, or I assume it's a him, since he was he was in a 20 long, and he was in a 10 gallon at the fish store. So I've had oh, him for wow. probably two and a half years, and he's already over, well over a foot, well over Jeez. a foot long. So, but wow. it's so fun to watch him like, he doesn't go down to the bottom level too often unless you feed him and then he's all over the place. But I feed him a good mix of earthworms and crickets and he really likes the algae wafers. He likes the koi floating pellets, just blood worms, anything I have, he just gets. Oh yeah, yeah. those monster fish, they'll eat anything. Yeah, tadpole, yeah. he took care of my tadpole problem for me. So. No. <laughs> so, like, during the quarantine, I kind of lucked out that I had so many extra frogs outside. It's kind of sad, but I kind of lucked out that I had fish food at my whim. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's and it's natural, too. Uh -oh. Yeah, know? and then we have all the koi. We have four kois outside and then a bunch of rosy red minnows outside that are they don't even look the same as the fish store. They're huge for rosy red oh, minnows. Wow. That, we use if we need to, but I kind of like, I'm attached to them now too, because I've had them for so long and I'm like, I don't want to get rid of them. <laughs> so Stephen, I, the biologist, is is there science, are any scientists in this science talk? LOL. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, I have a biology degree, but I'm on the wait list still for graduate school. It's been two years. <laughs> I'm still waiting. There's no open spots. I'm thinking about switching to a wow. different school, but hopefully you know, I'll, it, I'll graduate for, with my master's in freshwater biology, hopefully sooner than later. But as of right now, I just have a biology degree in general biology. Well, you know, you know, uh, with the pandemic too, now you're probably going to have to wait longer mm -hmm. on yeah. top of everything. Everything went online. I'm just, the one I was looking into is an online program to begin with the one here it's still two hours away but it was in like a seated but now it's probably for the most part online but they moved him down from virginia and he came with a bunch of grad students and there's a huge wait list so i'm just oh, wow every handful of months we check in and we'll see <laughs> wow well good luck with that thanks that's that's crazy. I, I'm just lucky because between all the fish tubers and all like the fish community, everybody, I feel like I'm getting almost a better education. Right. Yeah, it's like than, it's like being in the field, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, like I would like to have the paperwork behind me and all the little things. I'm sure I will still learn from everybody, but being part of this community, I'm kind of lucky that. I can still learn everything I kind of need to know on my own and through everybody's help and advice. It's kind of nice. Oh, I feel like I'm not getting behind, I guess is my point. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, Rob. You look like you got a question. Uh, actually, no. My question is, is why nobody ain't got no questions in the chat. That was no English. But why <laughs> don't nobody got no uh, no nothing? Well, I do have a couple more questions, actually. Um, we don't want questions from you. We want people in here, too. <laughs> well, 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 one of my questions is uh, I heard uh, you got a really crazy way of how you change your water. I did. I feel like I'm advanced now. I feel like I <laughs> took a crash course in what you're not supposed to do. Yeah. <laughs> but I would literally, like, I just had a 55 gallon drum down here, or one of those big trash cans, and I'd fill it up with water and I would just manually, with a water jug, one of those gallon drinking jugs, just manually fill it up one gallon at a time. But wow. now I have a pump in that, that I use a water hose and kind of a spigot, I don't know what it's called, to slow the flow up and down. And then I have a pump in another trash can that gets rid of my dirty water and it goes into my garden. So oh, wow. I feel okay. like I have upgraded tremendously, <laughs> but I I'm, had done that my entire life up until like a year and a half ago. Oh, wow. And that, as I, I started getting more and more tanks, I was like, this is taking me days. <laughs> so <laughs> I was like, something's got to give. We're going to go to Lowe's and we're going to figure out something. And I was at first pretty terrified of using the water hose because 
of just using a water hose. Right. But then I would kind of drain a little bit of the water out to get whatever was stagnant in there out. But now I just mm -hmm. kind of go for it. And I've never, I don't have any problems, but I do pump easy green and then right. usually prime, but I think it's, I, I got an aquarium box and I think I got some Fritz water conditioner that I'm using right now, but that's kind nope. of the only thing I put in my water and let it sit for a little while and then go for it. <laughs> so awesome. I feel like I'm really like, <laughs> I'm doing Papa way says better. Ice tea pictures. <laughs> and I would put on those Sunday night live or the Sunday live streams or throughout the week, put on live streams and just listen to everybody's live chat and right. just do water changes all the time. Uh, how but, many tanks do you have? Uh, I think I'm up to like 28 in the house. And then oh, wow. I have two 300 gallon tubs outside. It's about a 250 gallon pond and then four 30 gallon tubs outside. Gee, so it'd probably take you what a good hour to, to well water. beforehand, it would take you a good hour to change all that water, huh? <laughs> it would take an embarrassing long time. <laughs> it's okay for like the smaller tanks, like 55 gallons and lower. It didn't take that long. But the arowana tank took forever. And in the beginning of getting kind of, I always just had one tank growing up. And then when I went for my biology degree and I started doing my research on my guppies for my undergrad research, I got more and more and more and more and more. Oh, wow. <laughs> then I, then I got into the live plant stuff. And once I got into the live plants, I've really backed off with the amount that I water change at a time. Instead of doing everything 50% once a week, I do about 10 to 20% every couple of weeks. Right, right. And it's made a drastic difference on Definitely. my tanks <laughs> yeah that's how that's about what i do i do like uh 20 percent like mm -hmm. every week and a half or so mm -hmm. but i only have five tanks i'm in an apartment right now so it's uh -huh. like you know the space is an issue yeah. and you know yeah, if i had a house i probably have like 50 tanks who knows yeah <laughs> i lived in my apartment with all my roommates i just had my 30 gallon bow front and then when I was a kid, my mom hates the sound of the fish tank filters, like despises that sound where I find it relaxing. So yeah, it she is. only let us have one tank. But oh, when yeah. I moved in with Jesse and we started dating and I went back to school <laughs> and it kind of slowly creeped in and I was like, well, I'm just going to do it and just tell him about it later. And he can, yeah, right. it's already been done. Sorry. <laughs> Yo, know, I see I see that you also have celestial pearl Daniels. Yeah, they're, they're I've had them a couple of months now. It's the first time I've had them, but I've had them a few months, probably a few months now. Yeah, how would you rate though? Like are they hardy fish? Are they are they good fish to have overall or I feel like they have because there's a couple that didn't look like they were gonna make it and they pulled mm -hmm. through. They're a lot smaller than I expected because I had honestly never seen them in person. I've always seen them in the background of Steve Fott's live stream, right. honestly. And I just loved them. And everybody talked about them and I was like, I want these. <laughs> right. I don't have any reason or any business to want them, but I want them. They're beautiful. So they yeah, are I a little bit honestly smaller than I expected, but they are really fun to watch because they're so quick. Right, and right, yeah. Eaters and they they fatten up and colored up in no time flat. And right now it seems like I'm feeding them mainly the curl flakes and the bug bites, but I still nice. I have so much different types of food. It's ridiculous. <laughs> well, what do you think about extreme? I really have, like it. The only one yeah. I've used though is the curl flakes, but it's probably one of my really like top top two or three foods that I do feed. I really, oh, really? do like it. I think it it being red, because fish really like red stuff, I think right. that helps. But even besides that, they just love it. They eat it. Like, I don't know if it smells good or what makes it so attractive, but right. it's, a, it's an awesome food. But well, that's I'm definitely the well, line I've tried. You definitely answered my question there because I'm definitely going to try some. I've Thumbs been up in the chat here, if you know. have extreme fish food and you like yeah, it. I'm, I'm the same way. I had that. That was a good question, yo. Like real talk, because I was about mm -hmm. the same. As, I was about to say that's a good one. Uh, mm -hmm. Thumbs down or thumbs up, thumbs down, anything. Just let me know. Mm -hmm. 
You getting some, bro? Oh, I'm definitely going to get some. Definitely. I, I was on the fence about it, but now that you know, I'm getting a lot of positive feedback on yeah. the extreme food, so I'm definitely going to check it out. And another one I was surprised by that the carry Tetras behind me really like are the Vibra Bites. And oh, they, really? Really like, they really like those too. But I don't, I kind of crush it up a little bit more for the Celestial Pearl Danias. I don't, because it's a little bit bigger of a food. It's more yeah, stick like, like. I like Akari foods. Mm -hmm. But I don't oh, have yeah, like Akari yeah. line. Oh, that's awesome. I like um, it. All. <laughs> let me see. Uh, there's also Girl, another question. question machine. That, you, you're not letting no one get any questions in. I'm going to oh, stop yeah. putting people on the bro, screen got because whole, you got, got all the questions, whole, too. Bro, I got a whole novel of questions. What did bro? you do? <laughs> <laughs> I came prepared, bro. You made yeah. me look bad. You want to look. I'm going to just look. I'm going to exit out of here. <laughs> no, I go ahead, bro. Swing it. <laughs> I always got so nervous in the beginning of doing live chats that I put this whole list and I get too nervous to get to it. It's like, ah! Right. <laughs> Oh man, yeah. Um, another question I did have is that you're a hairdresser too, huh? I yeah, for a long time. Nice. So you know how to do fades and stuff like that. I used to be a lot better at it. Now I mainly do like colors, mm -hmm. like women's colors. But I went to school on a military base, so I in the beginning I was r r pretty quick and pretty good at them. But now I just I went into color like teaching mm -hmm. color for a couple different hairlines. So I would oh, yeah. travel to different salons and train in color. And then I had Brighton and couldn't travel anymore. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, Bob Taylor's got a question there. Yeah. Do you have a line of guppies that she developed with all that breeding? Uh, that's a good question. I'm sure there's something that's specific and special in the guppy, t the mutt guppy tank up here. But a specific line that I've had, like, no. I just, I really like all the ones in the Mutt Guppy tank. Just all of those, whatever comes out, comes out. And some of them are, it's like, where did that come from? <laughs> so funny. Yeah, I, 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 you know, um, I'm ready, almost ready to put a new strain into my guppies right now. Mm -hmm. I was in talks with RLC for uh -huh. to put in a, a new strain into that, so... I don't know. I'm on the fence right now too about that. So, yeah, I would love to eventually put like just time and effort in developing or just coming up with something, but everything's so pretty and I'm so indecisive that when it comes to picking a trio to separate, <laughs> like, come on. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I know with like, some of them over the years have a little bit more of that in like the iridescent color. And that, mm -hmm. I really like that. That's really pretty where they just kind of shimmer and shine. And then yeah. uh, it's got the, I think it's a, the tail that's kind of, it almost looks split. Mm -hmm. it's not drastically it's split. I really like those two. But oh, that's awesome. It seems like some of the, just wh whatever you come up with, whatever breeds, breeds. It's kind of the, I don't know. I really like just whatever I get, I get. But I've I've added a few more in there from outside, just guppy wise, get some more genetics in there because there is some green cobra inler guppy or no, just inlers that from outside that they were just there's so many I needed to bring inside. There's just so many in that tub that I just kind of add to the gu that my guppy tank. <laughs> <laughs> I really like them. That's awesome. Like, and you don't you do this just. Uh, for the hobby, you don't even um. I believe you don't um sell your guppies or anything. Like you don't do it. And for I don't profit, even right? sell them to the fish store. I just go up there and donate them. If they want to give me some credit or some fish food, it's great. If they don't, here's some fish for you to sell for the fish store. <laughs> like I don't. That's how I am. Mm -hmm. That's cool, guys. I, I think giving back is awesome. Mm -hmm. But I'm fascinated by the. I could do pundit squares and learn about alleles and genetics all day long. I just wish I knew like more specifics about it. And it just comes down to reading more articles, getting back to reading all those super scientific genetic papers that I love. But now that the kids are in school, I have time to read. 
Oh, school school started already. They, this is their first week. This was their third day today. Oh wow! Yeah. I'm in New York, so they haven't. They don't start till September. Really? Yeah. yeah. What about it's what about uh, uh, what state are you in? Missouri. Oh, you're in Missouri. <laughs> oh yeah, that's yeah. yeah. Hey, New right. York, man. I swear, in New York, it's almost like there's less school up here in New York more than any other state. Really? really? Oh yeah, they they always have <laughs> issues not to send kids to school up here. <laughs> Trust me, it's it's crazy. We yeah, just we, I, we live in a tiny little town, and we have three elementary schools, but then they merge into one middle school, junior high, and high school. But we have a handful of schools for our tiny little town. But each grade, the class gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> so. Right. Uh, I decided to uh, not send my kids to school. They're going to do everything at home. Yeah, I was really debating it, but my child listens to his Nana far more than me. And <laughs> I was just afraid that he was going to get behind, but every kid's different. Every kid learns different. <laughs> so just depends on the kid. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I have, I have, I'm diabetic. Mm -hmm. And I have a, um, you know, a weakened immune system because of that. Mm -hmm. I just, I didn't want a chance, you know, sending my kids to school or me getting my wife sick yep. or my, you know, or my mom, because yep. my mom is really, really sick. And, yep. you know, no, um, I get it. So. my dad has a brain injury, so we haven't spent too much time around my dad lately. We just kind of talk at a distance still right now just to be safe because he cannot afford anything at all so yeah serious man like it, there's this one guy i seen um he caught he contracted covid and he he died within five days of having it mm -hmm. like that's how quick yeah boom, somebody it's can go for that. yeah i definitely i was always a home buddy <laughs> but now right. i really enjoy stay home all the time so my, my three <laughs> days a month i work at the salon because i don't i just work enough to say i work i don't work that right. much. i just take care of the kids because it's cheaper to stay home than mm -hmm. <laughs> Bob Guppy's over here saying what part of Missouri, and he's saying Joplin, Missouri Joplin in the house. My salon. Joplin's about, I'd say, three and a half hours. I'm a little closer to St. Louis, but it's on the 44th Strip. <laughs> but I, yeah, I went, I go to Joplin a little bit here and there, but I know where that's at. It's closer to the salon, but I'm towards the middle of the state. Kind of in between Springfield and St. Louis. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. okay, okay. Not too far from everything, but far enough. <laughs> it St. forever Louis. to get there. Yo, Aquafunk. Uh, do you see what Aquafunk said, uh, Rob? Uh -huh. What did he say? He said, Carrie, you need to do a video, video. dumbing down the yeah, genetic yeah. charts, please. I was just thinking about, about that today. Questions actually doing a pudnant square type video <laughs> but if you want me to i'll do it it's fascinating to me i don't know if everybody shares the same sentiment about statistics and charts but <laughs> i find it fascinating you never know yeah i was watching a video today waiting for coffee about co-dominant traits <laughs> i was like I don't know. I really enjoy this. It's fascinating. Yeah, I always been a fan of genetics, but I, I like uh, I like it more with humans than fish. Me personally, mm -hmm. like uh, I've been trying to self teach myself. You know, watching lectures and stuff mm -hmm. like that on human genetics. So yeah, it, there's it's a lot easier to sell like go out there and teach yourself than it was i wish they had youtube when i was in high school <laughs> oh i know man shoot like they I didn't even have the know. internet no i remember <laughs> going to the library and looking up stuff like you had to go get the card and go find the book <laughs> yeah no, i'm in the middle i'm in the middle uh-huh uh -huh. yeah what was the internet going on when you when you were a kid rob 
It was because you got to think 99 was right around the corner. People thought it was going to end. Mm-hmm. So, oh, yeah. yeah like I was okay. growing up. I was growing into it. I was growing yeah. into it. So like I didn't get into the tail into it. So, yeah, my friend I'm in the house. middle. I'm always in the middle. My friend built a house. His dad or I say his dad built a house out in like a cliff out in the boonies and stocked it with a bunch of food for Y2K. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, like, oh, I, remember like I don't understand why people out. like why people thought that the computer went and, like it was just so stupid. Like looking back at like looking back at it, people were like really, really scared for no yeah. reason. For no reason. You something to talk I was about in kindergarten, now. so I don't I was in kindergarten. No yeah, you're so little. <laughs> yeah, I was in kindergarten. I was in first grade, whatever. Kindergarten to first grade, one of those. Yo, I'm, I'm going to tell you guys a, a funny story. The, that that mm-hmm. um year or that moment, we had a New Year's party. It was me with all my friends. I was mm-hmm. actually 20 years old. And uh, we played a trick on everybody. We had a house full of, full of people. And we were it was me, my buddy Aaron, may he rest in peace, and my buddy Ray. And we're downstairs. We're like, listen, when we count down, when they're, everybody's counting down, let's turn off all the lights. Mm-hmm. So we... Uh, so as soon as uh, everybody said zero, we turned off the lights. Everybody started screaming and like saying, oh, my God, it's the end of the world. We're like downstairs just laughing. Yep. <laughs> Don't antagonize me. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> Good times. Good times. It's fun to look back on. <laughs> mm-hmm. I can't look back on it. Yeah, you can't. It just happened. It just happened to me. <laughs> well, what happened? <laughs> 99. <laughs> oh, oh, you, you I, was like you that. I was just there. <laughs> I was just there. I was just there. I am from the past. I am here now in the future. I was just there, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I hear you, man. Like, I can't believe how fast time is 92, just... 92 was the first gone. computer. See, I was growing into it. So I, mm-hmm. I really didn't have it either. Yeah. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. Well, time goes oh. by so much quicker, I feel like, with the kiddos. Like, time went by pretty fast before, but now that we have the kiddos, it feels like yeah. it just goes by so fast. Absolutely. I, I totally, <laughs> totally, uh... Yo, for fun, yep. son, he, he uh, did the same thing. So. <laughs> Crazy. Think alike. Seriously. Really? Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, it's like, once I had my kids, like, it's like a year tur- literally turns into like a month. Mm-hmm. You know, like yeah. a year goes by so fast. Like it's scary yep. though. It's yeah. scary because <laughs> yeah. I'm forty. I'm I'm about to be forty years old in February, mm-hmm. and I, I'm I'm sitting here wondering where the heck did twenty years go? I know. <laughs> you know That's what I mean? Dang. <laughs> It, it's super scary because then yeah. another 20 years is going to pass. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be 60 years old. And it, it's like just time is just, mm-hmm. I, I don't know. I can't yeah. explain it. I don't know. I it's get all those things my parents, especially my mom, said to me growing up that she's like, well, you'll realize this someday when you have kids. And now she's right. <laughs> yeah, she's <laughs> well, Rob, you just missed the monster fish talk. Sorry. Oh, you're fine. We get to oh, talk. Yeah. He, yeah, he, he right loves there. monster fish. So anyone who loves monster fish, mm-hmm. she she does have an arowana. Yeah, I got addicted pretty quick. And when I got him, let me tell you, I had no business getting him. I had no idea how to keep him. And we just oh, kind of really? winged, it, winged it as we went. We got to know each other day by day. He would get mad at me. He still comes up because he's in the dining room. And he'll come up when we're all eating and just stare at us. And then sometimes I think he just wants attention and he'll jump. And I'll hear that sound, and I'm like, ah! Oh. <laughs> and he's just, he's just trying to get attention. He does well, it. Now, jumps. I'll is come he, is he your, is he your only monster fish? That I would classify as a true monster fish, yeah. Cool. But Lucy, she, the freshwater lionfish, she's not huge, but she's definitely has her same challenges as the arowana, just maybe slightly different, but. The arowana is probably the only one. I did have a largemouth bass for a while. Oh, wow. But when I moved him out in the tub, I moved him outside because I was like, this is a bigger tub. He'll have a, more room. 
I stayed out there all day. Everything was good. I went in to cook dinner or do something and I came back out and my dog was eating a really nice, really nice fish dinner. So I don't know oh. if the dog got it or if it jumped and the dog took care of it, but somehow the, it didn't, it didn't make it. <laughs> Oh, damn, that sorry, coat man. was shiny for about a month, wasn't it? Yeah. It looked like, and it was a challenge keeping him alive because I was just always afraid it was going to jump or I never feed it enough. But we, it was quite entertaining of a fish to keep for a really long oh, time. Bet. But wow! And how long? How long was it to the like? How long did you have it in that spot before the well, dog? I had, I had it downstairs in a 55 gallon for a while. And then I moved it into a 75 gallon for another handful of months. And then I moved it outside for that day. So what happened that day? Yeah. It was like just a few hours after I moved him outside in the tub. Dang. That's crazy. You're killing me, bro. You said didn't get my first computer until a few months ago. I'm still lost figuring it out. Larry. <laughs> You got all these young people around you. You know you can contact us and be like, yo, how to turn this damn thing on, Rob? <laughs> well, I had a major computer problem the other day because I've had I had a Mac for a while. And then my son, when he was little, accidentally poured milk in it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> then I didn't fix it. It was too expensive. So then I did the just laptop route. So now I have a new Mac. And it was not connecting to anything. It was just wouldn't connect i called apple care i was on the phone for forever nothing was fixing it they wanted to wipe it and all we did was delete the wi-fi and then reconnect the wi-fi and it worked so if you have a wow. problem <laughs> wow it's computers are really wi -Fi. yeah computers <laughs> so are really the crazy. only thing i use this for i got it for editing but i just use my phone still so the only thing i use it for is streaming and if it's, right i know how to turn it on and turn it off <laughs> that's right <laughs> what do you so, use? What program do you? I know Rob, you use Kai Master, right? For, for I use Kai Master too. Well, I, what uh program you use? I use it is called Filmmaker Pro. Filmmaker Pro. I've heard of that one actually. Yeah, yeah. it's it's a good one. It's the only one I've ever used. <laughs> so and even though I like it being on my phone, sometimes I wish I didn't have it on my phone, but I'm quicker at editing, but I still like not very good at it. That's the reason it takes me forever <laughs> to put out a video anymore. <laughs> I totally but, understand. Uh, between Rob and Aquafunk, they taught me how to uh -huh. how to navigate Kind Master, and you know, uh -huh. I'll, I'll definitely be forever grateful for that. And yeah, I, I watched some that. videos over it when I was kind of debating which software to go with. I've seen some videos on it, and it seemed like a really good software. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, Kind Master is definitely pretty fluid. It's I don't simple. know if they're, they're not running that special, but when in the beginning they start giving out deals for you to sign up, mm -hmm. and you'll have a whole year where it's like three ninety eight or three ninety five or whatever. It's pretty nice. It's pretty awesome. I, mean, yeah, I, think that's what was, I think I've been YouTubing now for like three years. I got I paid twenty bucks for it one time, and that's oh okay, that's good. good. <laughs> That's pretty Every sweet. So often they'll update it and you'll get like a new transition or a new music track every so often. But yeah, Kind Master, they do updates like every like. Mm -hmm. It's they nice do. though. It's refreshing. Mm -hmm. It is nice to see different features on there. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Like they, they add everything music, transitions, uh -huh. all BCR. sorts of stuff. Editing is new for me. So this, what I've picked up along the way for the past handful of years, that's, <laughs> I don't, it's new. So every time I put something out, I feel so accomplished because I'm like, ah, I did it. But yeah. once that routine <laughs> goes back to kind of somewhat after get back into the back to school routine and everybody gets back to normal for the most part, then I can sit down. Right now, I'm just deep cleaning the house, and I was deep cleaning the basement. I was dusting all the yeah, little cobwebs here and there. I'll mop right. the fish room every so many weeks. Just give the floor a mop. Yeah, and yeah. That type of stuff. Definitely got to keep up with it. You know, um, keeping up with this house after like, because I have my nephew most of the time during like during the summer, because my my brother's a single father, mm -hmm. so I like to you know, help them out. We help them out and stuff. Yeah. And 
But man, these kids, as soon as I get them to clean the living room, they'll destroy it again. Mm -hmm. Like 10 minutes later. <laughs> it's weird because right now I'm getting back into the group of them going to school. So I've, everything's abnormally quiet. I haven't had the house to myself in months. So I'll clean something like, wow, it's still clean. <laughs> like what? You're lucky. <laughs> and then they come home and it's just a tornado. Because oh. the neighbor kids, there's a, Brian has two friends that come down every day that I babysit through the summer here and there when things got a little bit back to normal. And so those three come in and it's just, yeah. Forget about it. <laughs> hey, Rob, that's what you got to look forward with Ava and her, her friends in the future. Oh, she don't. <laughs> he, he, look, listen, for those who probably have to experience this or may not experience this, because I'm going to be just like my father in a sense, mm -hmm. she's going to probably not like me as much. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, Bob. We'll see you later, buddy. Thanks for stopping through. Appreciate you, Bob. Be safe out there and make sure those worms are not messing with your dog. So, yeah. It's dog her. and worms. That's not good. Jesse's daughter's going to have a rough way to go when she wants to date. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's not having no boys over here. No, nothing. Nothing. Like, when you out of this house, you can date all you want. Maybe. I'm wrong with that? I'm, I'm Even sorry. Then. I can't do it. I don't need <laughs> your heart broken. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Rob, I mean, you did. I don't care. She's not. With with my daughter, like, she's got nothing but male cousins, uncles. Oh, uh, this is going to be hard for her to date. This is going to be hard for her to date. She's <laughs> able to date. She's just going to be not able to date. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what you're saying. She can yeah. date, but it's going to be hard. Uh -huh. Good luck. Good luck. Yeah. You're welcoming luck. dating. You're welcoming the dates, but you're yeah. like, it's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to happen. No, so you're that, like, that, I'm safe. That was like with my sister. Like, there's five of us. You know, oh, yeah. so my sister has four other brothers. So it was impossible for her. You yeah. know? How many brothers you got? Five. Oh. <laughs> we might be cousins. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got Big Tank Hank in the house. What's up? Hank the What's up, Tank? He's stuck up in here. I can't see nothing. This thing is always lagging, bro. Hey, you see you see how quick 42 minutes went by, Carrie? Oh, it goes by so fast. I'm ready. I'm ready. Because he over here got all these dang uh, questions. Yeah, I, I haven't seen any uh, questions for Carrie. Everybody don't, everybody don't got no questions. I'm horrible at English today, and I'm over here talking to people who got degrees and stuff. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, when did you hey, start? That's when did you start? Gonna, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, when when did you start actually taking fish keeping serious? Like make it like when you were like convinced this is a hobby and this is what you want to do. I was always I've always had fish tanks. I don't have any memories without fish tanks. I've always had oh, one wow. in the house, and then when I moved out on my own, that was one of the first purchases I bought was that thirty gallon bow front that I have that have the uh, pike live bears in them right now. Mm -hmm. Then. When I got my biology degree and I started keeping all the guppies for my undergrad research, because I was influencing some tanks with stress and some without stress to see how the population was affected in the fry, that, and I took that ecology class and everything kind of clicked because I always did what my dad said. I water changed, I over cleaned, but I never really knew why I was doing that. I just right. we were supposed to. And so when I took that ecology class and we were going over different nitrogen cycles and water cycles and just all these different cycles, everything kind of clicked. And I was like, so that's why we do that. And that's why we do it that way. And it just kind of slowly made more sense. I got more and more even into the hobby, if that makes sense. I've always, I was always, I've always had guppies and some, 
some did better than others. <laughs> I but I always had dad said you get a pleco, you get some snails, you have your one inch substrate, you put whatever you want in it, <laughs> and then you do your 50% water changes every week. And that's what I did. I didn't know why, but I always right. had a couple plastic plants. I never put driftwood in for the plecos. I didn't know later on that kind of helps with certain plecos that you should feed them because I would always grow them out to a certain point and then I would go get another one. <laughs> That's just what I did. So it wasn't until I went a little bit further down the biology route and learning a little bit more in depth on certain areas that I just got bit by the bug even more. If that right. makes sense. <laughs> I'm, hor I'm horrible at this, Larry. You know it. So you've answered Larry's question that I so happen to miss, and I apologize, Mr. Larry. So well, that's cool. Whatever you just you said, answer. you nailed it. <laughs> you awesome. know, um, um I, I do have another question. I um oh yes. Do you what's your favorite uh substrate? Like do you like do you rather go with sand or with gravel? Uh Right now, my favorite is paver sand. I feel like I've used the pull filter sand. I've used the really expensive high-end sand from the pet store. I've used dirt. I've used different sizes of gravel. I have a seashell tank now for when I went to the beach. I put a bunch of seashells in the bottom. But I still right. say just overall paver sand from the hardware store uh does really well i don't have as many algae blooms with it but i believe it has more calcium in it because when you use it under the stones they don't want it to leave under the stones when you do sidewalks and stuff so i believe it has a little bit more calcium in it oh that's but cool i feel like the paver sand does really well for my fish room but i have a 50 gallon bag of a uh, pool filter sand upstairs that I still really like too. <laughs> I feel like the more expensive, what is it? Supernaturals or something like that. You get at PetSmart. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's not as cloudy. Like you put it in, you fill it up with water and it's, it's ready to go. So I like that right. aspect. But if you have a little extra time and patience, I like the paper sand. And then Definitely. I have been kind of mixing a little bit of the flu ball stratum in it, but I agree. I think sand is a better. I like sub sand. Substrate. It seems like for some reason I was really nervous about my plants growing in it, but I don't have a problem. So. Much cleaner look too. It's a much cleaner look. It seems to be. Uh, Rounded Rob says, "Okay, I got a question. Mm -hmm. What tank do you have to do the most frequent water changes on? Like you have to do the most." Uh, this, I think it's fifteen gallons. It's a fluval tank of some sort. I won it at a raffle at the auction like last year. And I have it loaded with um, the front part is supernatural sand. I believe that's the name of it. And the back part is fluval. And then it's filled with valisanaria. But for some reason, there's algae growing on it, on the plants really bad <laughs> so i'm oh, constantly yeah. scrubbing off the algae off the plants and then it gets in the water column so i don't necessarily water change it heavy but i try to get a lot of that algae and i've been blacking it out a little bit more than normal here recently to try to just get that a little bit under control definitely it's that light on it's a really good light and i have a problem yeah. with turning off lights <laughs> and i think yeah. that's the gist of my problem and once it's in there it's hard to, when it's in there like that, it's really bad. <laughs> yeah, it, it, like if you let it go, I, I had a problem. Well, I do have a problem with uh, 29 in my room. Mm -hmm. Like if I if I don't stay up on top of it, it'll just, mm -hmm. you know yeah. what I mean? But my no filter tanks are the ones I have the least amount of problems with. I've had them, I think all of them around two years set up. And because of the filters, I got just tired of fixing them. I just was like, nah, it's, it's done. <laughs> but I have a lot of plants in there. And those are just crystal clear. <laughs> so oh, that wow. no filter thing is, uh, there's something to do that. <laughs> yeah, right. And I so, was always Mr. like, I don't know. But yeah, there's something to that. <laughs> so Mr. Hank has a question as well. Uh -huh. What is your most oddball fish? 
Uh, right in your now, opinion, right now. That I have right now would be Lucy, mm. the freshwater lionfish upstairs. She's so ugly. She's cute, but she she looks like a frog. She's kind of got really? a frog type face. But if you touch the, she has like these little poke leaves on her nose. If you touch them, it'll sting a little bit. I don't think she's venomous, but she's kind of, she's got a sting to her that I don't want to find out. <laughs> but she, she'll hide. And so she'll kind of look like she's part of the log or sometimes you'll find her kind of in the substrate wiggled down and she just waits, she ambushes. She'll just kind of wait for something to come by. But that's definitely the most oddball fish I have. Live bears would be the, the pike live bears because they're not anything I've ever kept before. That's they're definitely true, yeah. bigger than the guppies by far. Yeah. But... That's probably the most oddball. I've had some some in the past that I didn't know what I had when I had it. I had some really cool puffers. I've had rope fish. I've had a few cichlids that they were, I can't remember species specific, but I've had a couple really colorful cichlids in the past that I just didn't know what I had when I had them that were kind of oddball, but I don't keep them right now. But... I've had grommies and angel fishes and all this stuff that you probably and Tetra all in that 30 gallon tank that you probably shouldn't put together. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> but it all seemed, I had a couple of those like um, sharks, uh, the, the red tailed sharks, but they weren't the big ones. I forget what they're called. My mind's gone blank now that I'm yeah, talking. Yeah, I know which, I know which ones you're talking just about. Just totally though. overstocked as a kid because dad would take it to his fish store and we'd all get to pick out a fish and whatever we got, that's what went in there and it totally <laughs> probably <laughs> shouldn't have worked, but we always had fun going, so I've had some different ones through the years, but I still I'm really attached to the live bears. Yeah. What is your oldest tank you have? Uh, this one, I'll show you. This is the one, my childhood tank, that one right there. Uh, That's the one we had growing up in my living room, my whole childhood. We resealed oh, wow. it. We resealed it. Experimenting with re-siliconing tanks. I was like, what do it's, I got to lose? It's so fun, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It is so But fun. now I have some sword tails, mollies, and some plecos, and some shrimp in there right now. And a bunch of algae. <laughs> But that's my definitely the oldest tank I have. And you you said you did a, the ceiling yourself? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we practiced oh, with cool. a couple of 10 gallons. And then we resealed the 180 gallon. Ran out of silicone. Had to get more silicone. Redo it all. <laughs> and wow. then we redid that 30 gallon. So wow. And Rob, you said you did that too? Mm -hmm. I did a 29 gallon and I don't think it was successful. Yeah, I practiced a few times on the smaller ones, but that that oh, arowana nice. tank, it was it was fun doing it and then re getting to redo it. <laughs> wow, alrighty, y'all. So we have a few minutes to go. We have like it's like fifty three minutes. This thing has gone by mm -hmm. so fast, Miss Carrie. I appreciate you. Well, thank so, you for so inviting me. I'm really just happy that I got the invite. <laughs> it was very it was nice. truly an honor. Ozzy came up with it and he was like, yo, you got to get her on there. So well, thank you um, oh, and for my mods. Thank you so, so much for being here and dropping those links. Uh, Larry is on his way to one uh, K. So do us a huge favor and swing on his way mm -hmm. and get him that one K. Am I am I bars right there? Is that bars? Did I just hit some bars right there? I think you did. All right, there we go. Uh, <laughs> uh, and also, uh, Miss Carrie, is there anything that's coming in the future for you? I know you're doing that live stream with uh, Haley and uh, Miss Amber and the whole the whole. Well, uh, it's them. It's them. I was. Okay. I hope they invite me again. And you're a co-host. You're a co-host with them. Yeah, you're a co-host yeah, with them. Yeah. Uh, Haley and Amber are hosting it, and I think they're having two different guests on each week. But okay, so you flip flop. Off. Okay. Yeah. But anytime so nice. they want to come on, I will be more than happy. That, that's awesome. <laughs> but I have my live stream on Fridays. It's five central, six eastern time, or six eastern time, five central, on Fridays. And then I'm hoping to release a video about my rice fish outside in the tubs. I finally caught them laying eggs. 
So oh, wow. I got some close up video of them laying eggs and some fry that's hatched out recently. And then just, I'm hoping to do a, just an overall fish room tour. It's been a little while and we've rearranged again because once you get it arranged, you get a new tank, you got to rearrange again. <laughs> so just that give me true. a good tour of the fish room, either in a video or in the live chat, but we're having fun. Jesse, if he wants to come over here and say hi really quick, he's kind of been the co-host on the the Friday live streams here recently. What up, man? Yeah. He's coming. He's man, been waiting up, there dude? forever. <laughs> That's my came brother's on. name, Jesse. Oh, man, he jump in. What up, man? Hey, what up, man? What's going on? Chilling, rocking brother. the brand. You should have had him on the whole time. He's rocking well, he the brand. He was in photos upstairs. <laughs> yeah, you're hey, missing man. out on s'mores because of us. Uh -huh. yeah, <laughs> which is amazing. Too. That's why I said, everyone, she's missing out on a summertime delight. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, he was actually over here. He was trying to get my attention. There is a wasp in that that pike. I keep talking about that pike liver. There is a wasp mm -hmm. in it. As I was talking to you, and I was watching it, and he went down there and flicked it. And he's like, apparently, they like to eat wasps. Oh, <laughs> so, hey, nice. There you go. <laughs> we'll see how that went. <laughs> Extra protein. <laughs> That's right. It's protein. <laughs> but they come in. We always have wasps down here because they come in through where my I pump out. There's a little oh, hole no. right there. Oh, oh, oh no, man. see, look, we gotta get up out of here now. We mm -hmm. we got wasp up in the house. See, I can't do that. Yeah, there's always that. some kind of something. That's that's great. Hey, you could so, always give it to Arrow, you know. Yeah, we, right. we can whatever we find that's cool. At first, I was so nervous about it, but then I was like, "Well, that's what fish eat in nature. So why should I be so like? Don't feed them earthworms, <laughs> like, uh, well, right? Crickets and all that. Yeah, yeah. grasshoppers, but anything. They would. The only time I really got mad is when his, the sixteen-year-old, he was feeding that bass French fries, and I was like, "Whoa, now there's a limit to my niceness, and you're really." Yeah, gotta live. <laughs> I you was gotta like, live. "I'm okay with insects and all the creepy crawlies, but French fries, dude." <laughs> hey, he's getting some extra fat on them for the winter time. Oh. That's pretty good. That was pretty good. By hey, by all means. Uh, well, you figure. Wait, that's a good question though. Would a French fry be actually good or bad for a fish? In my ah. head, it's bad. But I, he ate it. And he gobbled it up and wanted more, so it could have been. <laughs> He's right. He likes McDonald's fries, I guess. <laughs> right. And with those, like with the arowana, when we do water changes, he'll attack everything. He'll attack your fingers. He'll try to eat the spigot on the water hose. He tries to eat anything and everything. So as long as it's digestible and edible for a fish, I'm okay with. But fast food's kind of my limit. <laughs> well, I was thinking more of like natural fries, like fried homemade oh. fries. You know? Well, I have no idea. Possibly. Yeah, I'm you know. good on that. Yeah. <laughs> The only one I've I've tried is the for the pleco because there's a big pleco in his tank too. That's the meaner one actually. That big pleco is far meaner than that arowana. And I fed him green beans and I fed him zucchini. And nice. he'll eat it if I can get it past the arowana. So we'll have to kind of soak it down and put weight it down with something. Right. Yeah. The hardest part feeding the pleco is trying to get it past the arowana. <laughs> you know, I've I've seen this. Uh, I forgot whose video it was, but they they put like one of those uh, you know those sucker things you, you use for the thermometer, mm -hmm. and like they they use two of those for like a zucchini, and they like put it right on the the wall of the aquarium. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I thought That'd that would really work. The arowana will just come over and attack it. <laughs> <laughs> all righty y'all so i don't want to hold y'all too long um i did see a lot in those uh for those who are in certain areas of wisconsin um chicago any of these places that are going up or anyone that needs to be safe stay safe out there mm -hmm. for those who are not uh gun prone or not able to protect themselves in a state that doesn't have the second amendment in a sense uh get yourself ready whatever you need to do stay out safe out there y'all as always we always want to see someone uh come home and always see y'all here so uh got anything to say ozzy no i just want to say uh once again thank you to carrie uh thank you to rob you know we appreciate it and uh 
I had a good time. This is very nice. Um, I hope to have you again in the near future, you know. Um, and uh, yeah, this was really great. The whole hour passed by very mm -hmm. quickly, you know. Already, everyone. And thank you guys for inviting me. I really appreciate it. Anytime you guys want to reach out and have me on, I am game. <laughs> All right. Definitely. So that much. sounds good. All right, everyone. As always, be kind, be courteous, and what as uh, what Ozzy? Yep. Whatever you do in life, make sure you go 